Like most top bodybuilders, I guess I'm known for a certain body part. With me, it's definitely legs. So on today's Vallejo workout, let me show you what it actually took to develop my lower limbs. You may be surprised how few exercises it actually takes. I start with quad. Come on, let's get started. I start my workout with the leg press. After I've warmed up thoroughly with a couple lighter sets, I place my feet high on the platform and do anywhere from 20 to 30 reps with a more challenging weight. I keep the tension constant on my quads by starting from rock bottom and going three quarters of the way up. The reps are slow and controlled, and I push with my heels. I make a point of going through the burn. I feel it's essential to push through the burn as this is what separates average from big legs. My goal is to build my thighs to their maximum possible size so I show no mercy. My second exercise is hack squats, which are great for building the outer sweep of the thigh. Again, I make sure to use a full range of motion and keep my thighs screaming by never locking out. To really torch my quads, I superset hacks with sissy squats. Holding onto a sturdy object with both hands, I descend with my torso upright and power up slowly, doing about 20 reps per set. It might not look too difficult to go through this movement without weight, but believe me, if you've worked viciously on presses and hacks, your quads should feel like they're being ripped off the bone. After this quad cycle, your thighs should feel extremely tight and pumped. Next, I train hamstrings. For me, leg curls don't provide the deep stimulation of muscle fibers I need to feel in my hands. As a result, I rely solely on the straight leg deadlift for size and thickness. With my knees slightly bent, I use a shoulder width overhand grip and bring the barbell from the ground to slightly above my knees, flexing my hamstrings at the top. This gives me the strongest possible contraction. Sometimes I prefer to use dumbbells for deadlifts. They're easier to handle and give more opportunity to vary hand spacing. I like to keep the dumbbells by my side as I rep out my hamstrings, something you can't do with a barbell. Well, believe it or not, that's my whole leg workout. It probably sounds a lot less complicated than many top bodybuilders' routines, but I have always been a believer in using basic exercises for maximum growth. Give it a try for a month and watch your legs blow out to new dimensions.